In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to make a website yourself, step by step with no steps skipped. In fact, your website will use the very same technology platform as Fortune 500 companies like CNN, eBay, Sony, UPS, and the New York Times. It's also going to be super mobile friendly. It'll work on any smartphone, including Android, iPhone, and the iPad. The technology we're going to use to create your website is called WordPress. Now, WordPress is a content management system, which is just a fancy way of saying it manages your content. So instead of having to know how to code, you can just type your content and insert your images just like you do on Facebook. So how much does it cost? Well, the average web developer charges between $800 and $2,000 for a website. But by doing it yourself, you'll spend under $25 to get set up. So, in order to get your website up and running, you need two things. First, a website name. A domain name is what it's called. Something like www.yourwebsite.com. That'll cost you about $12 per year. It's like a dollar a month. That's nothing. And then second, a computer that stores all your files online that's on 24 hours a day. This is known as hosting. This is going to cost you about $10 per month. It's pretty amazing considering you'll be using the same technology as Fortune 500 companies like CNN, Forbes, eBay, and UPS. This is going to cost under $25. And I'm going to show you how you can get a coupon and reduce that price by 25%. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is get hosting and get a domain name. And luckily we can do both at the same place. And that place is HostGator.com. So we'll head there in our browser by typing in www.hostgator.com and then we click on web hosting once we're on their website. There are all sorts of different plans here, but my favorite is the baby plan because it has unlimited domains. And what that means is if you have friends or family and they want a domain as well, you can attach them to yours as many as you want. The hatchling plan, just so you know, the one on the left only allows for a single plan. So anyway, I've been using the baby plan for about seven years as a web developer and it's, uh, it's really been helpful to me. So on the drop down list here, I'm going to click and I'm going to go with the monthly fee. That way I'm not locked into something for a whole year. Now, once you get on this page, you're going to have to register a domain name. And your website, of course, would be whatever domain name that you think will work out for you, like www.yourwebsite.com. And you do have the option of .com, .net, or .org, or if you already have a domain name that you got from some other source, you can put that here. And so I'm going to do a new one, and I'm going to call it 7minuteblog.com. Now, the coupon code at the bottom here, it normally will give you 20% off, um, but I'm going to give you another code here. It's called Code Save 25 You put that in there, it'll give you 25% off. And that coupon code is kind of a win-win situation to get you a little more discount. And plus, by using my coupon code, um, I get a small affiliate commission, which helps me continue doing those videos. So I appreciate you using it and enjoy the savings. So once we've got the coupon code in and our domain name in, I'm going to click on continue to step two. So one of the first things I want to check after clicking on uh, next step is that I am in fact getting the 25% off rather than just 20. And in the package type, we want to make sure we have the baby package. Then we fill in uh, some of our account information our username and our PIN and uh, our personal information. And by the way, if you happen to live in a different country than the United States, uh, you can pay with PayPal. And of course, if you're in the United States, you can use a major credit card. There are a couple of optional boxes in the hosting add-on section that you want to uncheck. The add domain privacy protection and add site lock. Make sure you uncheck those. You can also check at the bottom again to make sure you're getting 25% off with the coupon code. And you need to check the checkbox that says you've read and agree to the terms and conditions of use. And finally, create account. So after we sign up in just a couple of minutes or even less than that, we should receive an email about it all. So let's open the email up. And by the way, this email is very important information inside of it. What you want to do, though, is click on your control panel once you get inside. So once we've gotten into the control panel, it'll want us to log on and we'll use the username and password from the email. And the easiest way to do that is just to copy and paste those from the email right into the, uh, the login screen. And then finally click login. Once you get into the system, you're going to want to scroll down to where it says software and services. Now, if you got your hosting from HostGator, like uh, we did in this demonstration, 
you just go to quick install. If you got it from someone else, you can click on the icon that says Fantastico Deluxe. But of course, since we did HostGator, we're going to click on quick install. Once we do that, we want to select WordPress on the left side and then click on continue. After you do that, in the drop down list, you want to find your domain name. And in your case, you may have just one there. So you want to put in your email address, give the blog a title, and we're going to call it 7 Minute Blog. But keep in mind, you can change the name at any time. And by the way, this option over on the right after the slash, you can just leave that blank. That's really if you want to install it somewhere else other than the main domain, like if you wanted to do slash WordPress. But for this demonstration, we're going to leave that blank, and that's most likely what you should do too. I'm also going to enter my admin name. That's kind of the master of the account. And then my name as well. And finally, click Install Now. Now, once it finishes installing, you'll get a message. And the first thing you want to do is write down your username and your password that appear in that message. Now, you'll notice there's a link there that says you can go to your website right now by going here. And there's a link there. If you click on that right this minute, it's most likely not going to work because it usually takes several hours, up to about four hours, for everything to get installed and so it's up and running. So if you click on that, uh, don't be shocked that it doesn't work the first time and may not work for several hours. So with the magic video, I'm going to uh, speed things up here and skip over that. But just keep in mind that I probably took a break and had a little snack here. So now I'm back and I have a feeling that it's probably ready now. So I'm going to click on the link. And sure enough, the website does come up. There's not much to look at because it's just the default WordPress website, but it is there. But when you think about the fact you just saved yourself probably about $500, that's a good thing. The default website also gives you a sample page you can click on. So if you want to click on that, you can have a look. So it's not terrible and it's a start, but certainly you're going to want to make this look a lot better than it does right now. And the way we're going to make that happen is we're going to log in and begin working on the website and making it look different than it looks as the default. And the way you do that, you go to yourwebsite.com and then slash wp-admin. And what that does is take you to a login page for WordPress. Now, if you go back to your quick install, that's where we copied our username and password, and that's what gets us into WordPress. So I'll use my username that we entered into HostGator. And for the password it assigns, it's just easiest to copy and paste that in. And then click on Login. So once you've logged into the system, you're going to be on your dashboard. That's where you start at. And that's just kind of a fancy way of saying you're in the back end of your website where you can do work on your website. And one of the first things you're going to want to do is change that crazy password that's assigned by the system. So let's do that first. I'm going to go down to users. Then you hover over your name. We're the admin and we'll click edit. You go down to the bottom. That's where you can put in your new password. And then click update. So we got our hosting, we've gotten our domain name, and we've installed WordPress. So we're doing pretty good. In the next video, we're going to learn how to install a theme and add some pages.